And, okay. Yeah, what the? Okay. Uh, VC face. Uh, wait. Why did it close down? Okay. <laughs> Not a great start to this game again. So just give me a second. There. I still wonder if this game is cursed. Okay. There is an update available for this game, but not going to install it right now. Okay, there we go. Ahoy, everyone, welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Fearson, Lieutenant Rakir at your service. As well as... I don't even know what a naval rank is, so I'm just... <laughs> I'm just the gunnery officer, Rom. That, okay. that is a uh, rank gunner. Yeah. Yeah, we managed to identify the... In Oberdin, we managed to identify the gunner and the gunner's mate. And yeah, the gunner is the one in charge of the weapons and such. Anyways, uh, welcome back to Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, which reluctantly we're going to give another chance. I think this is our fourth stream of this, though I don't really care too much to check the amount Wait, this time. I, I think it's third. I, mean, I love how you say reluctantly, like, we're going to do it again as much as we don't want to. Okay, let me check the stream announcements. Uh, let's see, I've numbered this one as four. There's Katana Zero, there's Doom. Uh, oh, yeah, this is number three. Okay, let me just correct that then. Uh, yeah, I guess that tells of how, how long it you know, feels like we've been with this game already. Uh, but, yeah... It, the more the longer we go with this and the more time i think have to think on it the more i dislike this game not saying that it is absolutely terrible or anything like it is not just it's not the old et game which was in parts blamed for the uh video game collapse of the time and it wasn't just long story on that but it wasn't just one game that ruined everything it was more like a trend in this uh, in the whole industry that caused it but yeah it it, this is still a competent game, but it does not feel like a Prince of Persia game. This feels like a sort of half-assed uh, Dynasty Warriors attempt with the Prince of Persia cameo, cam, cameoing, making a cameo as a, a character. It has uh, things that should work, but it's missing it, it, the Prince of Persia soul. Yeah. Um, can I, can I ask for it? I'm, go ahead. I'm gonna write. No, just, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put in a couple of games for recommendation for co op. Okay. Yeah, we're planning on trying that again with. Uh, <laughs> okay, I missed the, I missed the marks of it coming back down on our freaking head there. Yeah, Wednesday we're going to try for another multi another multiplayer stream with Ram and Liz. Uh, maybe Borderlands, likely something else. And let's see, Foofy. Uh, well, stream time. I'll see if I have anything to do before I watch. If I do, I'll try to make it fast. Okay, no need to try and rush things. Uh, real life over stream and entertainment and all that. Oop. Uh, that can't be good. But, yeah, to continue on, this, this doesn't have the feet. We've played four Prince of Persia games now, so I'd say we have a good idea of what a Prince of Persia game should feel like. And this one just lacks it. It's yeah. No. That's what I've been thinking about. I realized I think the May shot us in the foot on is. And we played. In the, uh, Indiana Jones and Lara Croft, we took turns with them. True. We That's... haven't taken turns. It's well, we have played all the games on the weekend, though. So maybe that that isn't the problem. Can you guess what I'm trying to do here? Climb wall run. Now, what is one move that we have had in basically all of the Sands of Time games or Sands of Time trilogy games? They removed the jump sl wall slash thingy? Yeah. I don't know the name, but I know what you mean. Yeah, they've, they've basically removed the acrobatics from the combat. 
But to just put it so simply, much... they've they've stripped the combat. It wasn't as um, it wasn't great to begin with, but they've stripped it down to like a freaking toothpick. They've Kyvros Treepwoods the the mob tree. Yeah. I feel like it would be more fun if they... Like, sure, they want to do Dennis the Warrior thing. Problem is, Dennis the Warriors have more combat moves in style than this one. Yeah. So, so if they want yeah. to do the Dennis the Warrior thing, they should go all in. It just makes everything feel hollow. I, again, the elemental stuff is neat and everything. But it just... Yeah. Feels underutilized. I, that, I think right. that should be the words used when describing this game: hollow and un, uh, underutilized. Yeah, like players it feels like they have a oh, let's do that and have a good idea, but then they nerf it to the minimum as possible. The one thing that I do like with the acrobatics is that we can now clamber up a bit more after jumping against the wall in in the older games it would have completely broken some things but it does sort of fit but that's about the only move that i like and let's see hello better warlords uh let's see how many sarcophagus vase have uh you have the blue glowing ones that really upgrade your experience fast. Yeah, we found three or four of those. Some are pretty obvious to run across. Okay. There. For a moment I thought we were going to miss there. Yes. Okay, 13 in total. Nope. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to actively seek those things out. Okay, for a moment, I... Wait. Uh... Wait, we, we have all the speed back. Uh, no, it's... Okay, for a moment, I thought everything was reset, but no, these are still in place. Okay, that... Wait. Didn't we have these already, or... Wait, I think they're all glowing there. Oh, wait, there. yeah, they are. Okay, the, the ones that we haven't selected are darkened. Okay, but... Just getting confused a bit. Uh, let's see. Aerial boost. Trail of fire. One. Ice blast. I have no idea why we would really want to upgrade the power attack. Time. Flow. I, I think it's best if we just put in here and get more energy so we can use the abilities to speed things up. Yeah, let's see. Oh, Battle Warlord node 21. My bad. Where's your current location? We're in the Jin City. So I presume we're at the very least about halfway or two thirds of the game through. I hope oh, uh, that was dumb of me. Okay. Freeze. And then there. Oh, come on, I accidentally hit the button. It's either this one or next time we'll be able to finish it for... Or... But was it the first time also two hour one? Or did we able, were we able to do a three hour one on that? I'm pretty sure we haven't done a single three hour game or you know, stream of this. Okay, and wasn't it game a eight hour long? According to how long to beat, about that length, yeah? Yeah, oh yeah, I talk about it, you said that if you were able to do two, three hour stream, we will be done with it quick. Okay. Yeah, we've not been able to do that. Ow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I just uh, absolutely feel nothing for this combat. Uh, this, this is likely the, the Aqueduct's location, yeah, Warlords? I think we have passed that even, if I remember right. Yeah, we don't have the water here. Can the camera focus on what I'm trying to attack? Okay. 
Like, these bigger enemies are of some interest. But I get the feeling they're just going to throw them at us until they become just nothing. We faced this thing before, I'm pretty sure. I uh, think we faced something that fights like it. Like, just a reskin. Okay. Edit the extra suggestions on the game channel. Okay. Oh, nice. Thank you, Larry. And that's yeah. that also, I don't know, it looks nice, but the problem is it looks or feels mindless, I guess is the best way I can call it. Yeah, like, we've had these bird enemies since the very start of the series, but here they're, they're just purple lumps, nothing more really. Yeah, it, a big trucker. Yep, <laughs> you stop. Uh, yeah, the hello they... trucker. Hey, dumb question. Would any of you be against playing, like, multiplayer game, but against each other? I wouldn't be against it, no. I'd be That's against it. Me. Well, you could still just watch. Yeah, I would have watched uh, you both uh, beat each other up for my entertainment. <laughs> in that case, I don't know. We could probably add in some multiplayer games. I don't know if the Aliens vs. Predator multiplayer servers are still on, but that game is pretty good, so it probably still works. Yeah, could I have that one? The... When was that released again? The that was the 2010 10 one you have yeah. it. Yeah, that, that one. I can... I've, uh, I'm pretty sure I tried to do a showcase on it. Yep. Okay. One other thing I will sort of phrase this game on, though it can also be annoying, is that the rewinds just sets you back to a certain save point where you weren't moving. Uh, though you can just accident... Well, this could also be happened with the other games. Is if you accidentally hit the button, uh, you're going to go back uh, further than if you had it hit it accidentally whilst playing uh, the other games. So... Yeah, I, I'm not trying to sound like I'm trying to hate on this game. Like, it is still competently made in all of that. Even though the notices of... The, it's obvious that the game has been rushed and everything. But it is... It is not a worst game ever contender or something. And yes, I noticed that. Do we have something hidden here? A bit. You know, it's to say is... Less of this, it's the worst game, it's not that, but there's more disappointment. Yeah, it, it is. I would rate this game as the worst Prince of Persia's that we've played. Uh, but there are far, far worse games out there than this. Games that are just outright unplayable and everything. Like, it is still obvious that the people who made this tried. And that can still be appreciated, but yeah, they just they just were rushed too much, and be yeah. probably because of the because of the movie release and everything. Yeah, I feel like it, the, the, I'm sorry. Hmm? Is that existing for a second? Hmm? No, I mean. The beam. Did the beam just stop existing for a second when you tried jumping towards it? Yeah, uh, we can turn them on. We can only turn one of these on or off at a time. And I kind of forgot to turn it on <laughs> as we jumped. Basically, we're recalling... Oop. I completely missed that as much as it completely missed me. Right, yeah, it's one of the powers that we've been given. Yeah. Anyway, it's, uh, I don't really have anything to add. I'm, I don't really have. I really have to add. I just, I know this game exists, but I think my brother owns it for the PS3. But that's about it. Yeah. Hilariously enough, from what I've, from what little research I've done, which was basically just look up some videos and reviews, from what I've seen. Uh, the Wii version of this game is a lot more like the old games. Figure. Yeah. And that's specifically the one that I bought at the freaking fair a, a while ago. 
And you're not doing uh. it because... Yeah, because I'd already started with this one, or... Actually, no, I hadn't started with it yet. And yeah, by the time it... <laughs> that was uh, before I, l think I learned that that was probably the better version of this game. Uh, be and also another point is that... We've said this before, but they made like four or five different versions of the game. With each of them were different, not just ports or anything. Just completely different stories and games. Yeah, that to happen a lot in the Wii era. Like, if you bought, say, if you played the, um, that 2009 Ghostbusters game, the Wii version was very different. Okay, Solomon's Hall. It is odd to think you knew a man I have heard of only in legend. I cannot imagine your legends do him justice. He was a wise ruler and a kind man. You asked me why I stayed here. Even had I wanted to leave, I could not abandon the city he called home. Even now, it is difficult to think of it. But you're not leaving. Razia? That's usually not a good sign. Okay, forced combat. This is what I got the upgrades for. And honestly, little else. Yeah, th this is supposed to be awesome, just fighting off an entire horde of enemies. But they attack so slowly. You could take a morning. You could take a morning bus to work, and the evening bus back after, before they would even land a hit. Even as I'm getting bowled over by these specials ones, like the normal enemies. They're. You can see it with that one. They're hardly a threat at all. Yeah. No. I feel like if they were given more time to work and polish, it would have been better, but then again. Other also weird things. This was made in error, but people they could have patched it. But they didn't. Hmm. Sometimes there are some things you can't really patch. Like a good plot. Yeah. A trucker, you're supposed to kill everything. Supposed to, perhaps. But the gear, each of them... Really... You finish first. Uh, just killing the normal enemies isn't really worth it, since they only give, like one or two experience and i'm just going to let it die and you need hundreds of it to continue technically okay. count us or just realize you meet her you know it's a checkpoint and everything but doesn't it technically count as a time rewind the checkpoint usage technically yeah i uh, wait, really don't have any I really yeah, don't I... have anything to add to this conversation, so I think I'm just gonna leave. Also, my okay. captain is here, and yeah, we're about to leave, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, see you and enjoy. Yeah, this is it, Rom, guys. and thank you for joining. As always. Yeah. Later. Yeah, we need to use power attacks to deal with these jackasses. Yeah, I, I just really dislike the power attacks. They're like the complete opposite One, two, of three. how combat... Oop, yeah? Hello again! Yeah, no, I had a thing I wanted to say. And I posted it on the game channel. And it's kind of funny just noticing the change of the guy who made... Going... Of the guy who made Yakuza, where he goes from looking like Japanese James May because he was making monkey ball oh, damn. Looking, to looking like a gangster when he said when he made yakuza <laughs> yeah I, I saw that uh, yeah, yeah, earlier today just get rid of this fucker like the power attack with this is the complete and exact opposite 
of what Prince of Persia combat should be. It should be moving, it should be constantly in motion, and just be hitting one, two, three, move aside, dodge a uh, something, block something, or parry something, which is also something they've removed. But no, instead they give you a power t attack for which you stand still, need to charge up, and leave yourself wide open. Like, Why would what you... idiot thought that would be a good idea? Why would you not give your character a pet? Yeah, that is weird, like... They, like... They introduce a lot of interesting ideas. At, at cost of removing almost everything else. That's yeah. your worst good. But it would have been interesting ideas if they had been implemented well. Yeah. <sighs> Like, the most useful thing I can find at the moment is the stone armor ability, which basically tanks hits for us. I could, I'd, I'd probably say that that is the single most useful power. <clears throat> yeah, the combat here is just, it's just filler. From every fight takes too long than it should. There's too many enemies that do too little experience to be worth it. And just... It feels like a waste of time. And what was that? Oh wait, there's one of those bombers around. Enemies that could have just as easily been replaced by bloody purple lums. Like... They wasted all of the potential that they could have had. Yeah. They basically took the good things from Prince of Persia and threw them out the window for a half-assed Dynasty Warriors attempt. Uh. Yeah, it, you know what it's, that actually makes the world, this game almost most sad in a way. Yeah, it's sad if it wasn't infuriating. Theme. I don't know. I get the idea of having to change things up for, like, newer generations and stuff, but sometimes there's also the saying, if it ain't broke, you know? Yeah, and there's also the saying, don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. That is what they did, basically. That I haven't heard of before. No, yeah, no, that's a relatively common one. You know, don't throw the baby with the bathwater and everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for a moment I thought you glitched through the wall. I uh, just glitched through the memory. And if it wasn't enough that these things are, are just not interesting in the absolute slightest, then you have these fuckers who summon more of them. Just wasting more of your time. Like, that is what all of this feels like. It feels like wasted time. They're not Arc files from Doom, except at least arc files can be managed. Yeah, the, yeah, I agree with you. I've been wondering why they feel so weirdly familiar. And they actually look a bit like arc files with the the color of their magic and such, since arc files are fire based. Yeah, mm. I just realized this came out before Doom 2016. Yeah, the arc files were already. I'm not sure if they were in Doom 1, but they definitely were in Doom 2, I think. Yeah, they started showing up in the second game and kind of became a thing from that game mm. onward. Although I don't know if they were in 64. Um, there's a, oh, welcome back, uh, Poofy. Uh, I almost said Poofy. <laughs> Hello, Poofy. Anyway, uh, let's see. Anyways, yeah, I, I only joined in just to make the comment about the Yakuza creator and kind of just stuck around for part of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, See you guys yeah. later. Have a good day. Yeah. Good night, night. Rom. <laughs> you guys too. That up. Okay. I'm a bit calm down now again. Uh, so let's see. Uh, da -da -da, Battle Warlord. There's one in Solomon's Hall where you are... Uh, where you are a vase somewhere. Okay, I'm guessing that's meant to say something different. Uh, this sarcophagus is in plain sight behind a closed door. Yeah, it's that one there. Uh, and uh, Fufi just popping in with hi. 
And yeah, not agree, not as good as the others. Find a switch, I'd say. There's this switch over here. Doesn't look like a uh, Nintendo Switch. So, uh, and now I'm wondering if they ever tried to port this game to uh, the Switch, which version would it be? Uh, well, they're all going to pull uh, one over, but uh, it's more of the new one that's not been released yet. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the Lost Crown is definitely going to be on Switch, from what I've seen. Yeah, and PlayStation. Yeah. As it is, from what I see of Lost Crown, at least uh, the trailers, when they did show some gameplay, it looks more fun than this. Yeah. And it More looks... like Metro Dreads. Yeah. This kind of makes sense considering how the original G Prince of Persia was. Okay. How are we supposed to get through that in time? Uh, let's just quickly take a look here. Heavy kick. Oh, you have two upgrades. Let's see. Uh, there's also just a really stupid thing I have. Here. That's I'd accidentally knock some coins off of my desk. Ooh, uh, money! Uh, yeah, I, I I tend to have a stack of coins on my desk just as a bit of a uh, like. Some people have stress have like those stress balls. I have more like a, a stack of coins to keep my hands busy. If the yep. Yeah, uh, some you know how some people just twirl a pen or something when they're bored or something. I just have a stack of coins to just fiddle with. Are you two faced from Batman? <laughs> no, not that sort of coin. <laughs> uh, That's the first image of me that you used to play with a coin between your fingers, going to roll it back and forth and flipping it around. Yeah, not like that. Uh, uh, yeah. Another another thing that really annoys me is like you see it here: trail of flame, stone armor, whirlwind, ice blast. You would assume from this that the control that the controls for activating these would be one, two, three, four, but they're in reverse. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. Like I get it somewhat because the colors of the gems are supposed to or at least these two, I presume, are supposed to correspond to the colored buttons on the controller. But really nobody had the idea of tying these to the buttons that they would uh, correspond to on a keyboard, like one, two, three, four, not the reverse. Yeah, that's an oversight. Uh, it, it just adds to the feeling that... The... Either there wasn't, again, most of the game is commonly made, but it just makes it feel like a lot of stuff was wasted. Yeah, since, again, we're going to repeat this again, the movie, like, they had a deadline. Which probably meant that they needed to get it out quickly, which also meant they probably were unable to really flesh out the things. I'm not going to try for that one again, because it feels like the timer is set just too short. Yep. You're reading that from all the way there? <sighs> yeah, I... I probably should have stopped with this game after last time, but the Gin City got my curiosity just a bit up. But if nothing of interest happens in this stream, I'm just going to cancel the, the rest of it. Yeah. The, 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 you have canceled games before, twice. Yeah, but no the, all the two, all the two were to technical issues, like game-breaking bugs. This one will probably be the third one, but also the first one that we break, uh, abandon. Not from a game-breaking bug, but out of... Just not liking it. Yeah, and also, if someone were to tell me, me which, if I uh, ask me, me if I would recommend them watch our Prison Persia videos, I would say yes, except this one. Yeah. For another thing, I don't say 
We complain a lot on this one. Yeah, again, I'm going to... Really? Oh, wait, I see. The water flow keeps it open. Okay, so now we have to rush back. This explains why these aren't water at all. Go on, drop down. Okay, we should be about making that. Oh, oh there's that Jin slaying sword, finally. Another thing, this is the only sword upgrade we're getting. And through the others, we've basically been swapping swords a lot, except for two thrones. If any part of Malik is still alive, I hope he will forgive me for this. Uh, uh, let's see. Battle Warlord. Uh, last one, you'll notice this sarcophagus in the background as you're getting close to the top of the King's Tower. To be fair, I only like Thrones in Prince of Persia 08. Okay. Yeah, print, print 2 Thrones was basically the the trilogy refined. Just in time. Yeah. This makes me confused. Like, since th this one is supposed to be part of that trilogy as a sequel prequel. And this is Again, barely in uh, hmm? Go ahead. I'll save this one. I'll just wait here. Yeah. Basically, it's, but since it's a prequel sequel, it fits badly in. But at the same time, you feel like you made only three. You have the two thrones. Why not use the two thrones combat system here instead? Yeah, they had a they had a template to work with, and again, this might just be a nitpick as well, but also just shows how they needlessly change things. If you ask me, but if I with the other games, if I press space here. He would climb up. Here, he jumps to his death. Uh, again, it just makes me... F again, the make people who made this were still competent. But I feel like they had nobody... Absolutely nobody from the other games... In the... Who may have a part in this game. It does not yeah. feel Prince of Persia. Yeah, in a way... I feel like they mostly only piss test this to make sure it was working, but I forgot to the most important part. The feel of the game. Yeah, the feel and the fun. Because I'm definitely not having fun. Even these traps, most, most of them are nothing. Are you prepared? I do not think we should delay much longer. I'm ready. My own sword barely caught that Ratash's attention. How will this one stop him or the army? This sword was built for this purpose. To destroy what one Jin has created requires the magic of another. I don't understand. Give me the sword. I will show you. Razia! I am all right. What did you do? I told you I had a part in this. With my power, you will be able to attack Ratosh. What will happen to you when he is gone? I do not know. We will see when we defeat him. Now we must go. This is for nothing if you cannot destroy the army. Okay, I feel like, like I've been lying to Matt Muscle here, for he said that she does nothing. I count this as doing something. Something, yeah. So, uh, very, very late spoiler for <laughs> The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. But basically, Razia is now Fee. Uh, basically, the Navi of that game, who, well, is the soul of the Master Swords. Wait, can you spell Fee for me? Uh, uh, fee as in uh, from uh, the, the musical notes. F-E? Yep. Like F1, uh, sort of. Th th that's how we spell fairy in Swedish. <laughs> okay. So, Zelda has Swedish fairies confirmed? But it feels like they named it after the mode or the oversimplified short name of fairy. 
the Lord of Naval fear we have is uh, also Lord of Naval Elves is Elvur, which is used between uh, usually for fairy as alternative, but sometimes also used for uh, Alver Elves. Okay. Uh, let's see, chat. You're not far of the end, I'd say. Okay. But at the end of Prince 2008, they left it hanging. There was no ending. We do not rest. Uh, we do. We don't know rest about the girl like it was kept for a conclusion sequel. Yeah. They, they did the DLC though, which did not yeah. help. Yeah, which only made things worse, actually. Uh, that's how I felt it, yeah, anyways. Then trucker, that's now I want. That's not how I want a woman at my side. <laughs> Uh. Yeah. Again, the, had they not had a such a so short deadline, this one, I feel like this could have been fun if they given maybe two, one or two more years. I don't know how long they've worked on this one. Okay. Like, you, you know what? One or two years, they could have had the time to fix a lot of things. Yeah. Flesh it out more, but... A point me would not be surprised if many people that wrote this were unhappy with it. But they could not do anything about it and just were forced to release it. In, at least in working condition. You know, it's rather unsettling to have one sword comment on battle. It is also rather unsettling to be the sword in battle. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Rasia is sassy guy. Or fee or fi however, fee fi fo fuck off. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, he really increases our attack power because we're just slicing these things down in one hit now. Even the tank ones. This will smoothing out the feel. Actually, in a way. <sighs> Like, Are we only now getting a bit closer to the other piece of pressure feeling? Only yeah. now at the end? Yeah, it's like... Uh, I'm no game designer, but... Uh, we know how the old games played. Typically, are only a small handful of enemies at a time, which would usually take a good few hits to take out. So, judging from that, you would, if you were to up uh, the amount of enemies in an arena... In exchange, you should lower the amount of hits they would take. And the, the less enemies, the more hits they would be able to take. So I, I'd say just being able to smack down the basic enemies here in just one hit. And the sword guys in like, a, after breaking their guard, like one or two maybe. That would have been a good exchange. To yeah. keep up the tempo going. Because to up the enemies and up the health, that would just... Le that would just slow things down in uh, immediate, yeah, not immediately, a ton. Uh, so. Let's see here. From Kofi, swing sword, swing sword. Uh, swing swang was back in uh, MDK2. Uh, uh, let's see, from Battle Warlord, I, is it, I hope the new one will be good. I I have hopes for this new one. It definitely looks at good. And I, I know at the absolute least that the completionist, uh, who is a rather known YouTuber, they've supposedly been given full access oop, to uh, the game already as an early release or something. Uh, I need to double check. They did a video on that. And... What they've said so far has been good news. Uh, that is good. But I don't expect it to be like the uh, Sons of Time Tour game, but I do expect it to be at least more competently made and have this spirit of Prince of Persia. Even, even if it feels more like a heavily improved old school version. Yeah. That's still a good direction for it. At least have a link to one of the older ones. But where the improvements will help. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I am looking forward to that one. Like, 
I I'm pretty sh I've said this somewhere before, but not on stream, I believe. But if... Oh, that deals a lot. Okay, yeah, you go down in just a few. Um, if the technology had been there at the time, I'm pretty sure the... It will lead you back to the palace. I don't suppose you have something as simple as a stand? Oh, of course. But you didn't seem to like the last staircase I sent you to. Very funny. Uh, if the technology had been there at the time, I'm pretty sure the original Prince of Persia game would have played a lot more like a, a Metroidvania of these days. Yeah, this... That one does... The new one looks like it would be. Yeah. So, again, as I said, Metroidvania makes sense. Uh, I see. Yep. How, Too early. I have learned something that I've been theorized about the remake or the sound trying to do the game. It's apparently someone has been guessing for it has been delayed heavily. Says so that people are theorizing that the original team that worked on the remake well, had had a such a poor product they had to scrap it and push the release date heavily back to redo everything with a new team. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just... I'm pretty sure in some parts this game could be blamed for just the complete hiatus of the franchise. But that could again be blamed on Ubisoft for just doing way too much in way too uh, little time. Yeah. Multiple versions and then rushing it out for the release date of a movie. Yeah, and then I had many times, like, Assassin's Creed was supposed to be Prince of Persia, yeah, and there's many even spin of Assassin's Creed that was supposed to be Prince of Persia. But they changed it to be Assassin's Creed instead. Um, we actually talked about those. Uh, didn't we say those as a possible follow up? To after this game, well, we could prop as a side quest, likely. Maybe I'm still skeptical. For I, they'll have a uh, no strong emotions for Assassin's Creed. I think it's even good and worse ever since I learned it was supposed to be Prince of Persia. Okay, we did showcase one of them for a bit, and they, you, you did seem to enjoy that. Okay, that was yeah, supposedly the last one uh, by Warlords. Go ahead. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I know which one you mean. Uh, oh. I feel like I felt, that one felt interesting, and I also knew that it wasn't uh, too long. For the other Assassin's Creed games, I would say no to, for they are such long games. Yeah. We are in your palace now. Are you all right? Of course. If it is in my power, we'll make sure you return home. Thank you. I I, I do want to try some of the Prince of, not the Prince the Assassin's Creed games at some point, but we would have to cherry pick them. Yeah, and take the one that's most there. fun, but also able to shorten it uh, with a fair amount. Yeah, we we would we'd be focusing mostly on the main story, no side stuff, or hardly any yeah. side stuff. Like the main quest ending, and maybe not the special yeah. endings. I don't think any of them have special endings. Oh, many of them, all of them, all, all have it. Like, you have the Atlantis ending, and the monster ending. So yeah, sorry, like, there's multiple endings. Yeah, but that's with the modern ones, the mythic era ones. Mm. Yeah, we'll have to research a bit on that. Like, we've talked about them before, I believe, during the last stream we did this. Like, there are parts of Assassin's Creed Origins that I really like, but as the first of the Mythic Era games, it is also not the worst, but it is the... It's just 
over... It just overstretched a ton. But at least one of the DLCs of that I would really want to show off because it's really interesting if you ask me. Like you get to find you you get to fight fucking Nefertiti. Which is one of the well, she was believed to be a pharaoh, or the first female pharaoh or so. I think you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I I have tried to watch little videos about the Assassin's Creed and such, and it just doesn't work for me for some reason. Okay. Uh, we can give the first game a try sometime because it adds context to Assassin's Creed 2 and such, and it's not too long. But wait, oh, you you assholes are summoning more, aren't you? Yes, you are. Kind of forgotten about them <laughs> between all of the talk. That's true. <laughs> okay, that looked a little bit funny. That he landed on one and jumped over. Yeah, that is one thing I will say I like somewhat. Uh, okay, just getting busy up there, huh? Uh, did that do uh, anything? I just remember, we have a blast. Yeah, we're having a good time now. Uh, because we. We're just slapping them down like this. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, the actual blast. Yeah. <laughs> you mean uh, this one? Yes, that one. That's what I meant. <laughs> uh, what, what is that actually supposed to do? We can't reach that. I'm guessing there's a door behind there or something? Uh. I'm gonna grab some ice cream for it is a bit warm this evening. It has to be that today, except now. Yeah. Uh, okay, seriously, what do we need to do here? Uh, let's see. I'll just fight whilst I read the chat on OBS. Uh, Foofy, I got some laundry to do, but then I'll be able to watch. Uh, Warlord, but between this and the new one coming out 10 years gap, I think because Unisoft focused more on Assassin's Creed and left Prince of Persia behind, yeah, uh, as Assassin's Creed took off in a big way. Yep. Oh, wait, are you, can we grab this? Yep, I'm back, cannot. and what the heck did the... Okay. I'm gonna read, try and read here for a thing, I misheard you while I was in the kitchen. Okay. Seriously, what did this one do? Did it open the door behind them over there? How do we even get up there? We can't grab these ledges. Oh, laundry! Okay, laundry! What did you hear that as? I thought you said lingerie! <laughs> <laughs> I think it got muffled from the, all the screaming and the hacking and slashing. <laughs> I, I was in the kitchen, wait, what? Lingerie, what the heck is he on about? Okay, seriously, how do we get up there? I see nowhere that we can climb up. We can't reach this. We can't swing over from that thing. These buttons have already done what they're going to do. So, seriously, is there anything... No memories to Wait. recall. Are we supposed no to use to these guys to jump o over? I very much doubt that, and it would be the first time that would have happened. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> a bit funny. <laughs> we have this. Is it, this feels like the, maybe the only acrobatic thing we have. And that's jumping on the foes. Yeah, just half scratching from them. Okay. Seriously, game, how do we get up there? Now I'm starting to lose my patience again. Like, I'd have hoped that those buttons would reveal a, a way to get up there, but this does seemingly nothing. Like, it's likely opened the door behind there, but it doesn't help us get up there. So how the fuck do we get up there, game? Yeah, what the heck are we missing? Button also, is pressed, button is pressed. Nowhere that to looks climb. Like a place in the normal we would be able to just climb up. 
because they are things for us to hold on to. Hmm. Okay, War Warlord, you, do you know how we're supposed to get up there? Yeah, we need help. Because I'm not seeing it and I'm starting to lose my patience with this game again that I might just call the stream off completely here. Seriously, I'm not seeing anything to help us get up there. No poles to climb, no walls to uh, climb. Okay, you can get there, but how is the question? Are we supposed to climb? Oh. He just grab. Wait, are we supposed to climb that thing? What thing? I'm just going to be doing this for one. a moment. Grab on the thing in the middle. He won't grab, so no. Uh -oh. He was oh, just right, right, correcting his position or something. Yeah. Uh, wait. Are not we able to upgrade the jump? Nope. The jump Let's... slash, not the jump itself. These have both done their work. The only way I see that we should be able to reach that is somehow run up the wall twice or something. I <sighs> This would be a bit less annoying if these didn't keep respawning. Maybe we need to look up a video about it. Seriously, Warlord, just say so, what it is, what we need to do here. We've pulled this thing already, so the door is open, but there is literally nothing I can see here of how to get up there. Like The one thing I could think of is trying to get into those balconies, but we can't jump diagonally. Oh, it, it, I, yeah. I had to look for God. Sec. Okay, he's looking up. Okay. Mm. That, yeah, th this game is just a roller coaster of ups and downs, huh? and the ups aren't even from the game itself, really. Well, we are getting probably a damn amount of X. Wait, are we getting XP from them? Might as well grab that one. Uh, let me get that one up completely. Yeah, supply. I don't think we are. Because there's nothing coming up from these. That makes sense, for otherwise you could just... Well... Uh, super grind. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I think I'm just going to fully say this based on this part where it's just... Not... I can't see how to progress. This game is unfinished. This game should not have been released. And it also doesn't help that they keep banging their swords against the, the, the ground there, making that annoying noise. Like, there is no gin memory areas to recall here. So nothing to change that up. The only other thing we can do is freeze water, and there's no water here. So what does the game expect of us here? We can't go back, we can't go forward. We're stuck with nothing. Wait... Are we able to use that lightning thing from the phone? No. Hold on. No. Oh. Now I see it. It's like... That power has been used with such specific enemies. 
that I completely forgot you could use it on these as well. Okay, fuck all of you off. Okay. That one was on us. In I part, I just I just remember that. Uh, get out the way. I'd, I'd blame that on the game changing to those things and the birds that you need to jump between as, like, just the, the standards for using that ability. Uh. Yeah, if we don't finish this game in this stream, I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I'm, I can own sh Except he was hoping it would fight for him. Right, Aerosis. Probably wonder if we even should upload this on YouTube. Ooh. Now like, I'm going to just for having a full archive, but I wouldn't blame anyone if they just do not watch it at all. Uh, actually, uh, have you uploaded these episodes yet? Not yet, no. Still yeah. behind on that. I, actually, I think I've uploaded some of them. I, yeah, I, I uploaded until today. I haven't published them yet, though. Yeah, I feel like maybe put up a... Okay, calling a warning might be a bit uh, harsh, but a disclaimer early on for this game particularly that uh, there will be a lot of complaining. Yeah, I can put it in the, in the description. Warning did not enjoy this game. Uh, but yeah, we'll s we'll see. Okay, that them gone? Can we s no. Okay, how do we? Of course, we could have just ran off. Okay. There. Uh, I Yeah, I think this, I think this is about the is it, but it's, it's good you have me around to be the extra brain. Okay. What uh, is I'm that doing, Hidden game? Hidden, I'm not saying Hidden is stupid, but sometimes you need the, the extra person to help you think. Game? What door is that opening? Okay, that one would have been nice for us to have been shown that there's a door there. Yeah, the game is just unfinished. I'm going to fully say it, leave it at that. They... Okay, approximately 20 to 25 minutes uh, left, I did say. All right. I, I would say, I'd say, is typically. We'll see with that. We have an hour to go. In the stream window. Uh. Again, those birds do absolutely nothing. They could have just put up fucking purple lumps. Yeah. I feel like there was an insult to other flying mobs in the other games. Yeah. Okay, there's a button here. It's the only thing of interest. Do you do. Yes, you put up. You start up the water. I get the feeling we've stopped gaining experience or something. But well, you have not another upgrade thing. available. That's uh, one upgrade point. Might as well put that in the shockwave for the whirlwind. Yes. Get lost. I wouldn't. I wouldn't name a ground slam. It causes sort of quake a whirlwind. Yeah. It, okay. It, this might be also actually no. It, it's probably not as. This might actually be a not a neat thing. This is probably genuine criticism. If you're gonna name a skill, name it appropriately. For in this case, I feel like they need mi extremely misleading skills. Weak skills as well, for the most part, like that fire trail. Uh, no, not that one. Yeah, this that, one. That, 
It just well, yeah. It looks like really nothing, really. But if that one is it's summer crate. It's a fire trail. Just uh, I've seen way more impressive fire trail spells elsewhere. That's probably the most anticlimactic one I've seen. And the ice blast. Yeah, it's not yeah, even a boss. It's just sliding a. It's like sliding a puck more. Yeah, but if, if it could look, it can look like that. That's fine. Problem is, if you want to call it an ice block, no, actually no. Then it should not even look like that. For what? Well, what you is more like an ice yeah, explosion. You have you send it glide around, around, then explode. Otherwise, you'll just keep fighting the army to no purpose. That tower is it tall yeah. enough? Fighting the army Let's to no purpose. So. Just describing the game's combats. Uh. Oh dear. But yeah, if you want us to keep saying it's called an Ice Blast, just hurl a... an angry ball. Just a blast of ice. An actual blast. The, and then we have the... what was it called? Double health? Yeah, which is was, double health drops. Yeah. This is kind of misleading, for usually double health just means double health, not the double amount. Like, it, it... But not double drop. Yeah. <sighs> it's technically correct, but in a misleading way. Stone need... armor, uh, not gonna complain about that one. <sighs> the final climb. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just really not enjoying this game. This the tower we saw. The top will still be above the storm. I do not know what will happen when we get outside, but I think we are expected. Malik. You will make this easier on yourself if you think of him as Ratash. It is all that is left now. I'll try to remember that. Uh, don't we feel like this one should not be a prequel sequel? I feel like that this one should have been its own uh, game. Yeah, this should have. Yeah, I think you mean more. Of, is this doing, supposed to be doing anything? Oh, that's is supposed to be doing that. This should not have been a Prince of Persia game. That's how I'll yeah. just plainly put it. Yeah, or at least, and or if you still want to keep it a Prince of Persia game, just not this sense of time travel you want. But I feel like that's kind of fights against this one. Okay. I'm guessing we have to go up one side of this. Uh, as do something. The more thing about it, making a prequel sequel was probably a very bad idea for the South of Time trilogy to begin with. I think I see what we need to do. Yeah, again, because he should be getting chased by the fucking Dahaka. Yeah, so he may have killed him from all timelines, but still... It's just an added... complicated mess. Like, they, they were fine with the trilogy. They could have just done like with the Trinity Persia 08, just a new story with a different prince. Okay. Up. Mm, okay. This this is going to be really precise timing because we need to jump from the water wall. Yes, get your fucking, and then jump through the other one onto the bar there. Yeah, and, and it's some very precise timing. Yeah. You need to freeze that apparently. Yeah, that's what that's what this is. Uh, wait, can you, we go can you freeze him with the ice spell? No. Oh, all right. Almost had it there, but I pressed it shut. There we go. Okay. Um. Oh. No. Okay, this is a new move. They're trying to change things up a bit, but they're making it annoying. We jump through, then we. Yep. Through. Through. Solid, and there. It is interesting, but they, they're they introducing this at the absolute end of the game. They, they could have done that 
way, way earlier to make us more familiar with that sort of platforming instead of putting this in at the end here. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, if, if people were to ask me which of these games I would uh, tell them to play, I would probably say the Turgi. Okay. I also recommend 08, but to warn them uh, about that, that the ending might be rough without spoiling what it is. This one I would, I would recommend them to not play. Uh, 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 on Prince on 08, I'd say people would not like the ending at all. Yeah. Leave it at that. Oh, come on. Now you're going to do this. Okay. Jump. I probably should not be running up them. Okay. Jump, freeze, jump, unfreeze. There, okay. Freeze, jump, unfreeze. There we go. Okay, now I've got the timing down, I think. Up. Back. Up. And across. There. And there. Okay. There we go. Even more water... Uh, and we've said this again already with this game, but why is all of this here? Like, the, the wacky architecture is has been throughout all of the games, but why is every part of this uh, palace equipped with a fucking sprinkler system? Not even that fucking waterfalls. Uh, uh, and we're out of... I'm guessing we're going to have to do it all over again now. Okay, luckily not. Okay. I would... I would still have preferred the fountains to just drink from and save at those points. But I'll give that the checkpoints most of the time are decent enough. Oh, uh, hello. Steroids. Okay, get out the way. I have important things to attend to, and you are not one of them. Print. Again, I really, really hate that they put space as jump away. Yeah, for that means I for any. loathe it. Yeah, for that means any. Who's any Prince of Persia player who played the games before will be punished for it greatly. It's it, it's been it's muscle memory that's been built up across three games, or four possibly as well. I forget specifically what if uh, 08 had the same. I think it had the same. I think he noticed us. Okay, so how are you expecting us to uh, <laughs> beat Galact sand Galactus made out of sand? Uh, there, there. Fly mushroom soup? Oh, right, it's called something else this week, uh, English. Yep. Uh, uh, it would look worse and worse if I was at all any invested in, in this anymore. Because, yeah, Malik was basically the, the only... Th beyond, beyond the prince's banter... The only thing that really had me any interested in this game was Malik. And yeah, Malik is as dead as a doornail now. Yeah, I feel like... like those are... Uh, oh, there you the, go. The Jin girl here? She, I feel like she, they could have done so much more with her. 
Yeah, they they could have done more with her. What's what there is with her is relatively nice. Ooh. There we go. What? And why is this ability so freaking picky at times? It's like it has a really narrow cone where it will actually work. Uh. I was saying, are you walking to the end of the tunnel? I'm pretty sure this isn't a, a sandstorm. This is like a sand hurricane. So I, I'm just going to presume that Ratarshis is empowering it. And that's why it's causing so much damage and not just crappy architecture. So uh, why were you so small before? Did you shrink in the wash? I think you took offense to that one. This has to be the final uh, part. Okay, um. Motion sickness warning, I guess? Uh, just a moment. <sighs> Ooh, okay, I thought I was jumping to nowhere. Uh, yeah, th this is definitely a uh, finale vibes to it, Warlords. <sighs> so this is how it's going to be. Just arena to arena, and then birds between. Okay. This, this is pretty epic. But I, I've, just, I've just mostly lost interest. But this is pretty cool. This feels like freaking Bayonetta, with uh, just slower attacking. I do feel like we definitely should play the Bayonetta games. Yeah, uh, yeah, we definitely, we showcased number two, and that was, I believe, we must say, very capital yes on both. And, and I feel heard the three is all right. Maybe not as good as in the other two, but still good. And, well, that it's called a spectacle fighter for a reason. And actually, I I think that's my... I think that's maybe what they were trying to go for. Like, a spectacle fighter, but minus the spectacle. I would not be surprised if they... They want to, do, to make it more spectacular... But they didn't have enough time to do them. They only got the basic of the idea done. Let's see. Bayonetta makes me uncomfortable. Okay? Okay, any reason for that? Because she's basically fighting in the nude except for her hair because... Yes, her clothes are made out of her hair. Uh, reminds me of something I saw on TV a while ago. That apparently, someone was selling underwear made of uh, the people's hair, but only for the like, but only from the hair that to, to, from, for those they wanted to buy. So you did, did not buy underwear from a stranger, but still. Was there a screen just there? Was there someone still unfortunate enough to be alive in the in the palace there was all of this? Uh, maybe. And all right, that's my favorite why for Kofi. The hair okay. part. I was the hair or the nudist uh, part? About it. When I learned that the, the clothes are her hair. Okay, here we go. I have to shut you the hell up. Oh, what happened? The army is draining my magic. You may have trouble using the powers I gave you. Well, 
I wasn't expecting Ratash to make this easy on us. Do you see the seal on his chest? That is where you must aim. Couldn't you pick somewhere a little easier to get to? Okay, just get rid of all of them, then he's dumb enough to actually get close. Uh, oh! Ow. Come on, let me actually hit that. Okay. What? Really? Uh, uh, yeah, after the whole sandstorm bit, this feels... This is really underwhelming. Yeah, like, okay. the, the punches the slamming was alright, but those? That just feels <laughs> pathetic, I must say. Yeah, like, the, I, I get you do want to use all your powers uh, to destroy someone, you want to use just the right amount. But... Those blasts are wimpy. Like th this is supposed to be their general or such. You, you'd think that his attacks would be able of just wiping this platform out, but no. Uh, yeah, th this this game just continues to disappoint. Okay, halfway there. Okay, are you going to get out any other tricks? And he's still just babbling in that... Uh, he's still just babbling in that language that we have no idea what the hell he's saying. And I actually... That was accidental of me getting in extra hits. There, just... Again, having your fancy fantasy language is nice and all. But it doesn't mean jack shit if we have no f idea what it's actually saying. For all we know, she's she's telling him that his mother was a sheep and his father a donkey. It wait. It might be magical words. This like your words of you. power. Lower your chest a little bit so I can yank out. Come on. Also, Wait. subtitles, please. And something about yeah, rise. Yeah, for he. The, she, she have to try, uh, try to translate for him. Yeah, I I heard something of that rise that he's. Whenever he's speaking, he's summoning his army. Ah. You, you sort of got what you wish for, Helium. The minimum. Like, why do I get the feeling that a mode where they actually tell what they're saying is like, like a new game plus or something? I will not be surprised. And One more hello, hit. Demoto. Okay, the game is not exactly bad. But it is bad compared to the other Prince of Persia's. <sighs> Most interesting thing in this game. Okay, so it's a good thing we didn't shatter any sand statues that I noticed. <laughs> I could feel it taking over my body, but I could not stop it. I was a prisoner. Malik. Lens flare. I'm sorry, I didn't... I am the one who should be sorry. I did not listen to you, and you were... You saved us. <laughs> I'll get help. No. It's too late for me. 
But tell our father, I said, you will be as mighty a leader as King Solomon himself. Malik! Wait, what happened to her? I'm guessing that might be after credits. Uh, yeah. Again, this game has me... Maybe not conflicted, but I am just not... I'm just... Uh, I'm not pleased with it. It just Is really it feels up? like... It, I think it's likely just a combination of all the things that we've said that's likely the case. Like a team that didn't know what they were uh, working with. Uh, deadline with the movie and just everything and the fact that they have four different game ver versions running at the same time and not meaning like ports of this onto the uh, other systems but completely different games completely different stories diff completely different mechanics <sighs> yeah it it's no surprise why the prince of persia series has been basically dead until the the announcement of the lost crown recently I, yeah. After this game, I would not want to touch a Prince of Persia game again. Except if, for the one it, that's coming out. Yeah, if, if this... If we had not learned about... Uh, the, if we had not learned about Lost Crown as we were playing these games, or streaming these games, and this was the last one, I... I fully would have said to let the to let the franchise stay dead i would have said to let it lie because this this is not prince of persia we have a, the prince of persia in a game that tries to be it tries to be too many things and it it just changed things up so much that it's not it's it's nothing it's it tries to please too many people and it pleases none Ugh. yeah uh, I would just say it's. It could have been a great game, but. It just ended up disappointing. The sands disappeared as if the storm had never happened, though it left its mark in the crumbling stone of the palace walls. Uh. Not... I found the sword where it had fallen from Ratasha's body. The metal was cold in my hands. I spoke Razia's name, but there was no answer. I returned the sword to the underground city. It seemed right that Razia should be left in the city she called home. And I could not bear to keep the sword with me. With the city secure in the hands of Malik's advisors, I begin the most difficult task of all. I must return to Babylon to tell our father what has happened. Okay, really just fuck you, game. Not, not even it, proper cinematics for this? Yeah, uh, at least we know what happened to her, and now we know why she did not play the other games. Of course. They had, to, they had to explain that, and at least they gave her a somewhat respectful send-off. But, yeah... <sighs> Just I, one I, final I, kick from this game. Yeah, I was, I'm probably not as mad for this, but I was almost expecting this one at this point. Yeah. They, at least they could have ended that there with the Harka's first appearance or something. Yeah, that uh, one I actually was surprised by. They didn't mention or even hinted at the Hakka. Like, if they they could only all this we saw now and left a little icon or something in the background with the Hakka in it, that would have made a lot of difference. Okay, let's close that all off then. And, uh, yes, Border Warlords, we, ha uh, we do know the Monkey Island series and we've already streamed basically all of them. I, yeah, there might be some smaller side things, but we've gone from uh, the special editions of one and two, 
uh, Curse of Monkey Island. Uh, what Actually, was, what was he the streamed one all of them except one. One of the Monkey Islands were our second abandoned game due to a game breaking oh, right, yeah. bug. Uh, escape from Monkey Island. Yeah, there was a there was a bug in this game that would uh, in that game that uh, it was basically a 50-50 chance of it happening or not. I tried fixes and yeah, it the only way to well, see if it would happen was to get to a certain point like a few hours into the game. Two hours. And yeah. And yeah, it it was it was Escape from Monkey Island. Uh, yeah, uh, and all of it is, he, the only way to have a chance to bypass it is to restart the game from the beginning and play those two hours and pray it didn't happen again. I think and we took how many more tries, time than that, but still, yeah. Yeah, how many times did you try and it still happened? Uh, I didn't restart that many times, if any. I mostly tried to brute force uh, the glitch to fix. I I wasn't the game wasn't exactly awful but it wasn't real I I'd say it was probably the uh the forgotten sounds of the Monkey Island games yeah so I think it was more we had a lot of technical issues with it as well yeah like it was random pauses and all of that and yes it was the bug with Pagnos Pete's house Ugh. yeah but yeah, honestly, we we dodged a, an even worse bullet with that because uh, after that would have been that fucking monkey combat stuff, which for uh, from what I remember, I believe for most people's playthroughs, uh, just grinding monkey combat stuff is like half of your playtime because there's all of it is randomized, all of it, all of the moves, all of the counters, all of the effects, or not maybe all of the effects, but. It's just not worth it. Yeah. So I'm I'm glad we dropped that one. But beyond Escape from Monkey Island, we have streamed each and every of the main Monkey Island games. I don't know if there are other any side games or such, possibly what we've streamed. The special editions of one and two. We've streamed Curse of Monkey Island. And we have, we have streamed all of Tales of Monkey Island. That was certainly enjoyable. And we've you know, streamed Return to Monkey Island. Yeah. Uh, what the? I think you want to read the chat. Uh, no, it's not exactly a bug. You need to rapidly press the pause button on and off just before you dock the house. I think I've tried that fix as well, and it didn't work. So, yeah. yeah. It is sending off an actual bug for people that have reported to be it, it, to be a bug. <sighs> Okay, but yeah, now we are done with Prince of Persia for now. Yeah, we will but... likely stream Lost Crown when that releases or sometime after it releases. Yeah, I just realized we have half an hour left remaining. True, but I don't really think we could fit much into that. Uh, we could try with Return of Oprah Din. We'll probably finish that next time that we stream. I don't think we'll get much progress in Doom and neither in yeah. Katana Zero. Uh, I'm more just stating the fact that it's kind of comical that we actually finished with 30 minutes remaining. I feel like that's a kind of good thing for. I feel like I think we both will be wrecked if we, it took the fight took longer. True, but yeah. Uh, let's see, Warlord. It works if you get it right. What oh, Oprah did never heard of that game before. Uh, I'll, I'll just bring it up. For a second quickly but it, it's basically a sort of it, it's a, a, a mystery puzzle is game I'll just let it come up here first the visual style might uh, spark a memory or two but yeah it, it's this game where basically we have to identify 60 well fatalities uh, missing people to see what happened to them and we'll follow the story because uh, that ship had a really, really bad time along its journey. And I'll say that's all about, I'll say up that on this stream. But yeah, really good game, really fun yeah. game as well. That one, I feel like we've been having 
a lot of fun with along with Doom. Yeah, it has some frustrating bits, like how the game expects you to identify some people, but it's more of a fun frustration because even if you get stuck on identifying someone, you can just try and identify someone else or find another memory to investigate. It's not a get stuck uh, frustration. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not impossible. You will probably, in the end, finish it and figure out what you're supposed to do. Yeah, even if you just have to guess at the very end. Yeah, it's more of... It's, <sighs> it's right amount of challenging. Like, you all became a, you know, a bit of a Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> all right. And, um, yeah. Uh, early start, probably good. Early end, probably good with how annoyed we have been with this game. And, uh, yeah, yeah we, just, we I just think we said all we needed to. Yeah, we just need... Oof. I'm glad we took it on a Sunday, just finish it off. For now, we can focus on the other fun games again. Yeah. And speaking of, before we go raid someone, let's do a little uh, chat on sub yeah, of what is to come. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, we will be continuing with Doom 2016. And Saturday... We will be continuing with Katana Zero and Return of the Overdin. Possibly finish both, because Katana Zero isn't actually that long. And yeah, we'll have another Showcase Sunday. And we'll see what we'll do next week on Sunday evening. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Wednesday, we will likely do a multiplayer stream. Likely, not sure. Uh... Maybe Borderlands, but maybe something else. Uh, we'll just have to see. But for now, um, da -da -da, Warlords, yep, is a buy, is a BIY like. It, it, oh, it's a bit like a detective kind of game, uh, i.e., Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I was disappointed with it as well when I finished it. I might check back, uh, see some over din. You, you should be able to check the VODs. Uh, if the VODs are still on Steam, uh, not not Steam, ugh, Twitch here. Uh, yeah, otherwise, no, um, right. not... one of them probably is, is since they only lost for one week instead of two. Uh, otherwise, let's see. Yeah, I I have uploaded the the VODs up to this point since last time to YouTube. I haven't published them yet. I will get to that after this stream. So you will be able to see the VODs of the previous streams there, uh, Warlords. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I think I'll just publish them and then just edit all of the data on them afterwards. Uh, so yeah, you can just check on the Oberdin videos on in there on a bit. And uh, let's see. But Prince of Persia, it was a letdown on the franchise, definitely. We also have a Discord. If you'd like to, if anyone would like to join in there, uh, I set up, I try to set up events as reminders for when the streams happen. And well, otherwise you can just uh, suggest games and just chat with other people, share stuff, the basic uh, streamer Discord stuff. And uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Yeah. Except you to grade someone. Yep. For the so, food, good, silver. Okay, let material. me change the screen share. There we go. And there's a good amount of people online. Uh, let me narrow it down a little bit. Uh, we have Rainya, who is streaming Tears of the Kingdom. I have, I am basically, uh, I'm basically getting to the end of the game. I've m completed most of the main story. So I have no spoilers to dodge anymore, or major spoilers, unless someone is at the end. Uh, next up, we have I'm a Flanker, who is streaming Battlebit Remastered, which is basically like a, a cheap version in price, not in the quality of the game, a cheap version of the Battlefield series. And well, with how disappointing the last Battlefield game is, I'm not surprised at all that this game has been selling like hotcakes. It is good. <clears throat> Then we have Torpid Typist, who is streaming Nier Automata. That, I'm pretty sure we've only seen them uh, stream Nier games, or Nier, or however you're supposed to say that. 
Uh, Redacted Cat is online with Zort. Okay, I'm definitely muting. Okay, it is muted already. I'm, I'm taking a peek here. Uh, let's secret jank slash variety stream. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do not recognize this game at all. Either it either it's a retro style game or it's just a retro game. It looks a bit like Unreal Era. Hmm. Uh, next it up we have mm -hmm. uh, Little Karibo is online. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I own, own sure as well. Let's see. Uh, Little Karibo is online playing Phoenix Wright. Not yeah, Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Um, I think I've seen oh, that one him. play before. Yeah, it's from Team I... Four Star. You you abridged that. Wait, what? Team Four? No, not Team no, Four no, Star. I, I think. I I recognize the fluff ball from uh, Takahata's videos. <laughs> okay. Uh, next we have Touch Scaly Tail with Minecraft. Does it say anything about the mod pack, or is this just plain Minecraft? Uh, holy! Uh, oh, that's a, yesterday. that's a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Join us as we adventure through the new Minecraft update. Wait, a, a new, the new update is out? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's been out for a while now. Camels is a thing, along with sniffers. Okay, well, going to have to wait for the mod to upgrade before I ever touch that. Because I, well, just, I, pref I just prefer modded Minecraft over vanilla at any day. Yeah, just yeah, just be careful since, you know, what's been going on with the mod uh, sites. Yeah, I, I've heard that it has been fixed with malware issues, but that's always just a lurking problem. And... Yeah, it's probably one of those they probably gonna be extremely more careful now of like i don't think that they're gonna over the goal now after this okay and then we have halloween who is streaming amnesia the bunker and i just gonna notice that the only blue empire uh, is online as well and jaron key who we rated last time is online as well uh let me see only blue this is a this is a friend of a friend and they're streaming Genshin Impact. Uh, I'm I'm always reluctant to call people friends. Uh, I I tend to be a bit unsocial with that. And yeah, <laughs> okay, they're they're teaming up with Pika and two others it seems. Uh, and Tatum is in chat. So shall we go rate them then? <laughs> yeah. <what? laughs> okay. Uh, let me let me do a, a raid uh, message for if anyone's coming along. Uh, let's see. Let's do. Uh, there we go. Let's do this as uh, a raid message. I don't know what he's writing at the moment. Pocket sand. <laughs> Pocket sand. Yeah, it's it's a reference to. Uh, was it called King of the Hill or something like that? But, but yeah, anyone who wants to raid along, feel free to copy that just to be a little nuisance to them. And then we go slash raid and paste. Uh, but before we hit enter on this, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Battle Warlords, uh, Foofy, Marco, and was there Trucker? anyone else? Yeah, Trucker as well. But how, how did I forget Trucker? <laughs> thank all of you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And like we said, Tuesday we'll be continuing with Doom. And uh, yeah. Uh, until then, though, let's start the raids. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. Thank you for suffering through this game with us as well. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Peace, everyone. I was out for uh, seagulls, and I'm going to make sure that Helion doesn't get a. Uh isekai by Ice Road Trucker. Wait. It's a big trucker is now bloody. Uh.